Hi there, and welcome to this Literacy Design Collaborative screencast. The topic of this screencast is getting started with LDC Core Tools. Core Tools is an online space that helps teachers to create and share their LDC-aligned work. It provides hundreds of examples of teacher-created lessons and assignments that have been thoroughly vetted by peers for quality assurance, as well as many other examples that teachers choose to make publicly available. Any of these examples can be used as models for your own work, and you can even copy these examples and modify them for your own use. LDC Core Tools also provides templates and guidance to help you design your own work from scratch. All of this lives in an online space similar to Google Docs that gives you the flexibility to manage and store your work privately, share your work with specific colleagues who can collaborate with you asynchronously or in real time, or make your work publicly available for others to learn from. In this screencast, I'll demonstrate for you how to create a free LDC account so you can get started with Core Tools. While many lessons and assignments created in LDC Core Tools are accessible to you via ldc.org and elsewhere, creating an LDC account enables you to copy, adapt, and use those resources, create, manage, and collaborate with colleagues on your own work, and much more. And creating an LDC account is free, and it takes less than a minute. You can find links to Core Tools from ldc.org or by navigating to coretools.ldc.org. All that you need to do to create an account is to provide your name and email address and create a password. While optional, sometimes shortly after creating an account, we strongly recommend that you access and fill out more of your profile. Doing so will make it easier for you to connect with colleagues and to gain access to LDC resources specific to the focus of your grade level and discipline. You can access your profile anytime by clicking on your name in the upper right hand corner. Whenever you log into LDC Core Tools, you will land at your Core Tools homepage. This homepage includes a list of curricular items that you've recently viewed or worked on, as well as an LDC news feed that provides you with important announcements and up-to-date information about Core Tools and about what's happening in the LDC community of practice. The navigation bar across the top of Core Tools is persistent, so you'll have access to it no matter what kind of work you're doing in the system. Clicking the LDC logo opens up the LDC.org homepage in a separate browser window. There's a tab to bring you back to your LDC Core Tools home, and there's a tab to bring you to My Library, where you can manage work you have created, work that has been shared with you by other users, and work that you have copied from the curriculum library. There's also a tab to bring you to the LDC Curriculum Library, where you can explore existing lessons and assignments that are publicly available. And finally, there's the Jury tab, where you can manage tasks related to reviewing work using the LDC Teacher Work Rubric. You will also find shortcuts across most of the system to create new curricular items or to search the LDC Curriculum Library. Clicking on your name in the top right corner provides you with several actions, including the ability to modify your profile or to log out of Core Tools. The best way to get started with LDC is by becoming familiar with existing lessons and assignments available to you in the LDC Curriculum Library. When you explore the library, you will find teacher-created mini-tasks and modules that users have made publicly available, as well as collections of mini-tasks and modules. A mini-task is an assignment that targets one literacy skill that students can typically complete within one class period. It provides formative data to the teacher and can be used by itself or as part of a sequence to scaffold the demands of a larger task. A module is an instructional unit that culminates in a significant assignment requiring students to write in response to a close reading of texts. This assignment is one part of the module, called a teaching task, and it includes a prompt, standards, and texts. A skill-specific instructional plan, called an instructional ladder, is the other part of the module, and it provides day-to-day -day instructional tasks to prepare students for success on the teaching task. A collection is simply a user-created collection of modules and or mini-tasks that have been made publicly available in one place. There are a number of filters available to help teachers explore the library, including a curriculum type filter. There's also a curriculum rating filter, which can help teachers find items that have been specifically vetted through a detailed review process. Items tagged as good to go or exemplary are items that have undergone this process and have met certain requirements, while unrated items simply have not been through this process. Core Tools users can filter the library by using a variety of other filters, or they can search by keyword. They can also sort the results in various ways. Clicking on a module or mini task card opens the item up to be fully viewed, but there's also a preview option to allow users to get a quick view of what's inside. Whether from within the module or mini task itself, or by accessing the items options menu on the card in the curriculum library, any user can make a copy of an item found in the library. The copied version will be found in the user's My Library. This version can now be edited and can be accessed at any time within my library.